have you ever talked to a person who just went on and on and on and they just wouldn't quit talking? They talked for so long that you didn't even hear what they were saying anymore. (laughs) This happens to readers when they're reading words on and on and on and on and on and there are no paragraphs. Today, we're going to be talking about going back through all of the pages you've written and adding paragraphs. If you've already been doing this, excellent. If you haven't, that's okay. I want to tell you a secret about paragraphs that adults know, but maybe kids don't quite know. Are you ready for the secret? There really are no rules about when to make a new paragraph. It is more about a feeling that you get when it's time to make a new one. Here's my draft about boots. Remember when I had trouble thinking of ideas for this chapter? Well, I got a lot of ideas uh, from the roadblocks chart, what to do when you get stuck. So now I have tons of stuff here but there are no paragraphs. I'm going to read this and figure out where to put my paragraphs. Boots can be tricky to put on. In this chapter, I will help you find the right boots, explain how to put them on your feet, as well as how to put them into your skis. Let's start with finding the right boots for you. Okay, already I'm noticing that this, this, could be a paragraph right here where I say, let's start with finding the right boots for you. Why do I think that's a paragraph? Well, because this first sentence explains what this chapter is going to be about. It's it's a summary. And this starts talking about the first part of the summary, which is finding the right boots for you. Because I say, I will help you find the right boots right here. So I'm going to make a paragraph. There are two ways you can make a paragraph. I can skip a line like that, or I can do what's called indent. And I'll just click the tab button on my keyboard. Oh, that didn't work. Um, I'll just press the space bar. There we go. And if I'm going to indent this way, well, I need to indent this paragraph, the introduction too. Did you know that Each chapter should have an introduction, not only your whole book, but your chapters should as well. Okay, and I can continue reading through and figuring out where to put new paragraphs. I think probably where I explain how to put them on your feet could be a new paragraph. So let me find that part. I talk about um, finding the right boots for you, what boots are made of, what they look like doesn't matter as much as how comfortable they are. When you try on your boots, oh, there it is. That's when I need to make a new paragraph. So I'm going to press enter and indent. And there's my new paragraph. This is already looking a lot better and less overwhelming and blah, blah, blah. So it's your turn. Go ahead and try figuring out where to put paragraphs in your drafts. When you're rereading your drafts, you can make this little paragraph symbol next to where you think paragraphs should be. Here are your work time choices today. Read mentor texts, write introductions and conclusions, reread your drafts and make paragraphs.